Well, did you ever think DC would be calling fights inside the largest spherical building in the world? What a special opportunity for these athletes to get the chance to compete in this setting here tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here's Alexa Grasso, one of the best fighters in this flyweight division. Came into the UFC primarily as a boxer, but the grappling evolution has truly been a sight to behold. And now it has gotten to a point in terms of the well-roundedness for Alexa Grasso. There is no safe area in mixed martial arts. We'll see if she mixes in the takedowns here tonight. Well, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are trading strikes, and both are landing at will. Yeah, edge of your seat action. We expected it to be good. These women are delivered. Oh, with authority, the body. Pretty good jab there by Ricci. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. All right, full guard here if you're the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard. Throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. And now she has her back. Oh, right in the bump. This is a terrible position. Great reversal to top position by Ricci. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, beautiful counter with a jab to the head, turning defense into offense. And no surprise that the longer fight is down the range on that strike. Nice straight punch there. Midway through round one. another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that when she is this. Free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. All right, so again, she shoots for another takedown here, and once again, the takedown defense holds up. Great job by this young lady to bring the takedown. She was aware of what she was going to see in the fight. She was very well prepared. Oh, nice takedown defense. Uppercut lands. Beautiful head kick lands. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice. She's got her in a lot of trouble. Beautiful jab by her there. You know, we referenced her reach advantage on the tail of the tape and certainly made good use of it there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And as she misses with the left punch there. Well, she told us she wanted to kick more in this one tonight, and she is certainly doing that to great effect. She is doing it, and she's being very effective. She is winning the fight with her legs. She continues to circle towards the left. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. One minute now to go in round one. She wanted out of that clinch and able to get out. Leg kick checked effectively there by Grosso. Liver kick. Well, she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs, right? Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job. 
understanding and recognizing where the weakness was. And she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, big knee! Back to the feet! Easy shot going on right here. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially rub. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She doesn't have to close the door if she gets a hurt again. So a lot of strikes have landed here, and she has some swelling now to prove. Well, she's landing that jab. The right hand, she can't miss. She cannot miss. And right now, while the swelling has started, it's not critical. She needs to make sure she's better defensively so that we don't get to that point. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Ricci gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Pretty good connection by her there on the knee. And I don't care where you are getting need. It doesn't feel good, and I'd imagine you don't want to take too many. She thought they'd be available, and she was exactly right. Ricci's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's it's an overwhelming feeling being in there with her when she's fighting at this level. When everything's working, she is as good as anyone in the UFC. Tonight, she is at her peak level. Baby Sharks cut above the eye. Back and forth we go. Hook to the head there by Ricci. Oh, lands another hook. Ricci going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Just over two minutes to go. All right, well, she told us she was the best boxer in this division, and certainly the film tonight dovetails with that opinion. Her hands are on point. You know, John, every time they say that, I'm the best in this, I kind of roll my eyes because I'm like, you can't be the best at everything. <laughs> but she has proven tonight that she has the best hands. We have not seen her look this good, and it's her volume, it's her accuracy, it's all that, it's everything that she's doing that's allowing for me to form this opinion that is in line with what she told us this week earlier. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. All right, so some adversity for her. Oh! Strikes continue to land. Dean steps in. Oh my goodness! What a fight! 
So how about this result tonight? She tore us in the fighter meeting. I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady.